morning. I'm Debbie Ridgel, Father Michael's wife, and I'd like to invite you to join me for morning prayer. Today, Monday, December 20th. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. <clears throat> grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins, and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O King and Savior, now drawn draws near. O come, let us adore him. O be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. O King and Savior, now draws near. O come, let us adore him. Our psalm today is Psalm 101. <clears throat> Excuse me. My song shall be of mercy and judgment. Unto you, O Lord, will I sing. O oh, let me have understanding in the way of godliness. When you will, when will you come to me? I will walk in my house with in the integrity of heart. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the sins of unfaithfulness. No such thing shall cleave to me. A crooked heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him will I destroy. Whoever has a proud look and an arrogant heart, I will not suffer him. My eyes shall look with favor upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. Whoever leads a godly life, he shall be my servant. No deceitful person shall dwell in my house. The one who tells lies shall not tarry in my sight. I shall soon destroy all the ungodly who are in the land, that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let's continue with the first lesson, the Book of Wisdom, Chapter 5. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, beginning with the fifth chapter, the first verse. Then the righteous man will stand with great confidence in the presence of those who have afflicted him, and those who make light of his labors. When they see him, they will be shaken with dreadful fear, and they will be amazed at his unexpected salvation. They will speak to one another in repentance, and in anguish of spirit they will groan and say that this is the man whom we once held in derision, and made a byword of reproach, we fools. We thought that his life was madness, and that his end was without honor. Why has he been numbered among the sons of God, and why his, is his lot among the saints? So it was, <coughs> was, excuse me, so it was we who stayed from the way of truth. 
and the light of righteousness did not shine on us, and the sun did not rise upon us. We took our fill of the paths of lawlessness and destruction, and we journeyed through trackless deserts. But the way of the Lord we have not known. What has our arrogance profited us? And what good has our, has our boasted wealth brought us? All of those things have vanished like a shadow and like a rumor that passes by, like a ship that sails through the billowy water, and when it has passed, no trace can be found, nor track of its keel in the waves, or as when a bird flies through the air, no evidence of his passage is found. The light air lashed by the beat of its pinions and pierced by the force of its rushing flight is traversed by the movement of its wings and afterward no sign of its coming is found then. And as when an arrow is shot at a target, the air thus divided comes together at once so that no one knows its pathway. So we also, as soon as we were born, ceased to be, and we have no sign of virtue to show, but were consumed in our wickedness. Because the hope of the ungodly man is like chaff carried by the wind, and like a light hoarfrost driven away by a storm. It is dispersed like smoke before the wind, and it passes like the remembrance of a guest who stays but a day. But the righteous live forever, and their reward is with the Lord, and Most High takes care of him. Therefore, they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, <clears throat> because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armor, and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate and wear impartial justice as a helmet. He will take holiness as an invincible shield and sharpen stem wrath for a sword. And creation will join with him to fight against the madmen. Shafts of lightning will fly with true aim and will leap to the target as from a well-drawn bow of clouds. And hailstones full of wrath will be hurled as from a catapult. The water of the sea will rage against them, and rivers will relentlessly overwhelm them. A mighty wind will rise against them. Like a tempest, it will winnow them away. Lawlessness will lay waste to the whole earth, and evil doing will overturn the thrones of rulers. Here endeth the reading. Excuse me. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Our second lesson is from the book of Revelation, chapter 12. A reading from the Revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ to St. John, beginning with the twelfth chapter, the first verse. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains in the agony of giving birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on his head seven diadems. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore her child, he might devour it. She gave birth to a male child, one who was to rule all the nations with a roof of iron. But her child was caught up 
to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, in which she is to be nourished for 1,260 days. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. <clears throat> and the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, I'm sorry. Now a war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that the ancient serpent, who called, it, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power of the kingdom of God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you will dwell in them. But woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. And when the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But the woman was given the two wings of great eagle, so that she might fly from the serpent into the wilderness, to the place where she is to be nourished for a time, and times and a half a time. The serpent poured water like, river, like a river out of his mouth after the woman to sweep her away with a flood. But the earth came to the help of the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed the river that the dragon had poured from his mouth. Then the dragon became furious with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of the offspring, on um, those who keep the commandments of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus. And he stood on the sand of the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that have done surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all the ages, who can fail to do your homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. <clears throat> we continue with the prayers. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. O Lord, show your mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day Stir up your power, O Lord, with great might come among us, and as we are sorely hindered by our sins from running the race that is set before us, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and to the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. A collect for the renewal of life. O King, O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will, with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice in giving you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A Collect for Mission Almighty and ever-living God, who alone works great marvels, send down upon our clergy and the congregations to mit committed to the church charge the life-giving spirit of your grace. Shower them with the continual dew of your blessing and ignite in them a zealous love of your gospel. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In time of great sickness and mortality. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we beseech you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made, uh, made use of for their cure, and grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto the heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> In times of natural disaster, Almighty God, by your word you laid the foundations of the earth, set the bounds of the sea, and still the wind and waves. Surround us with your grace and peace and preserve us through this plague. By your Spirit, lift up those who have fallen. Strengthen those who work to rescue or rebuild. And fill us with the hope of your new creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite you to add your prayers and intercessions and thanksgivings. Let us pray. Lord, we specifically pray for Nora and her husband Shane, as she's having an MRI today, and Fred and his wife Margie, as he's having an MRI today, for Ernie, who's having a pacemaker put in, and his wife Melissa, for Christy, who's broken her leg after surgery, for Nikki, who's battling COVID, for Mary Lou, who's recovering from a stroke, and her husband Rich. For Joy and Jan, Joy is uh, battling cancer, as well as Glenn and Harriet, and John and Gay Lynn. Lord, we pray for Natalie, who is recovering from her liver transplant, 
and uh, recovering from liver cancer. And Lord, we ask you to be with her parents, Amy and Jeff. We pray for Margie, Walter, Louise, Lynn, and Lord, we especially lift up Kale, who's in hospital with COVID. We lift up our Bishop, Mark, and his wife, Allison, and Chip, our Bishop Coadjutor elect, and his wife, Beth. And Lord, we pray for discernment for the justices of the South Carolina Supreme Court in the recent hearing. Lord, we thank you for this day and we ask for your protection and endurance as we continue to battle COVID-19. Let us continue with the great, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. <clears throat> Excuse me. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, to you and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Now the prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This concludes morning prayer today. We hope that you'll be able to join us tomorrow again at 10 a.m. for morning prayer. Have a blessed day.